hey guys hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in on today we are going to be talking about about 10 ways plus a bonus one on how to understand your financial habits in 2024 let's not waste any time let's go ahead and jump straight into it number one track your spending mm -hmm. you have got to track your spending you have got to either go old school how i do sometimes get out pen and paper or if you're new school a millennial gen z or whomever you be then you've got to use an app hopefully it's a free app not an expensive app but whatever you need to do you got to track your spending because a lot of times in our heads we will think one thing but in reality baby it is a totally different thing and you're like what I didn't know, you know, that was going on. So definitely you have got to track your spending and that will help you get better. I'm not going to lie to you and say that the first couple of times are not going to be tedious, time consuming, overwhelming, underwhelming, and eye opening, shocking. You may share some tears. You may be like, sh like really shocked, but once you get over that, then it is going to definitely help you, you know, develop some uh, develop some money habits, develop a routine because you'll see where you are. How do you know where you're going if you don't know where you are? You just know you're spending, but you don't know where it's going, but you gotta see it. You know, you may have to develop, uh, number two, let's go ahead and get into it. <clears throat> Create a budget. And so if you've been tracking your spending and you're seeing that you constantly buy on Amazon or TikTok or you have to have your favorite Starbucks, you might have to just add that into your budget and then you know you can track and see how much you've been spending over the last 90 days or 120 days and you can maybe just add that into your budget and then it won't be an issue. But right now, if you're not really knowing how much you spend at Walmart, Amazon, Target, Starbucks, wherever, then you don't know. So your money is just leaving you and you're not really just aware of where it's going because you know it's going, but you don't know exactly where. And we definitely want to know exactly where we are, okay? So create that budget. Make sure you get you an app. Um... I'm trying to think of which apps you know would be the best there's different ones i'll link some down at the bottom for you Woo. This, this video gonna kind of hurt you gotta analyze your bank statements and if you're anything like me i don't want them bank statements coming in the mail <laughs> i don't so you may have to download it on your app that's what i do and look at it you know, or you can get the Rocket Money app and it'll, you know, break down everything for you. But you're going to have to analyze those bank statements. I can't remember when I first started doing that. My bank statements were seven, eight pages long. I mean, I was just swiping like an idiot. I mean, like an idiot. But now we're down to two pages and I definitely want to cut it down some more because in the bill account, we shouldn't have that many pages because we we don't have that many bills. So definitely, you know, work in progress, but keep going. Identify your triggers. If you're sad, if someone's pissed you off, um, if it's Sharks Week, what else? Uh, something, you know, unexpectedly happened or you got some bad news or good news, identify what entices you to uh, spend. That way, when those triggers happen, you can learn and develop uh, a different coping mechanism, whether it's taking a walk, whether it's taking a break, whether it's taking a nap, whether it's watching a funny movie, something like that other than spending money okay so definitely pay attention you know and sit down with yourself you know grab your glass of wine you know and figure out what you know um 
triggers you to spend, you know, uh, money. Set financial goals, okay? It doesn't have to be for this year, you know, you can say, okay, well, I want to have $500 saved up by the end of the year. Then you may, you know, just divide that by 12, and then that's how much you need to start saving. Because I know sometimes, many years for me in the past, I didn't have anything saved at the end after Christmas. Mm -mm. So that's when, you know, I had to set a Christmas budget, um, put money aside, write everyone's name down, put a dollar amount next to their name, and just get started early. Get started early and don't get caught up in the hype. But that's just one way. Like I just said, reflect on past decisions. If you know that uh, the past couple of years you didn't have anything or you just had a small amount left and that made you unhappy or that's not what you really wanted to do, then definitely set some goals for yourself. Once you set the goals, then you're going to divide them by however many months. And then every time you get paid, then you know that you need to allocate that money. Go ahead and set that up as if it's a credit card bill or if it's a bill. That way that gets paid. You are important, your future is important, and you deserve to have something set aside for yourself. So set it up as a credit card payment or, you know, have it uh, automatically drafted. Automatically drafted is definitely the best route to go. Conduct a spending audit <laughs> and give yourself a grade, okay? Because um, nobody likes a failing grade. I would do uh, A and B and then F. Or A, B, and E and F. E for effort. The effort that you took time to look at that the shenanigans okay so definitely give yourself an audit and once you start to hold yourself accountable for your actions and what you're doing you will begin to take yourself more seriously because let's be real let's be frank or candid money solves it all okay um some people lie and say it came by happiness it can buy what you want, and when you can buy what you want, aren't you happy? Aren't you unhappy when you don't have any money to pay bills or buy the things that you want? What else causes unhappiness? Let that sink in. Yeah, I don't know who came up with that statement, but they are full of malarkey, okay? Full of it. So definitely save what you can practice gratitude slash mindfulness be thankful you know for where you are because if you still alive that's always great there's lots of people that didn't make it if you are employed or self-employed or have a side hustle that is great it can even if you have talent if you could braid hair or if you can play the piano or if you're good with your hands, if you love to be outside and doing things, those are ways to generate money, okay? Be grateful for that. Some of us, like myself, don't have any natural talent, but I have hustle. So therefore, it's just as good because I can make money just like I do. So, journal your financial journey and your thoughts. You know, how you're feeling about your money. And it's always so funny. I wish I had it right up here on my desk, but I don't. For me to go back <laughs> and read how I was pissed off on that certain day. And baby, I was mad. I wrote my feelings down. I wrote everything. And it was just like, it's really funny to see. Because I can laugh now. But in that moment, your girl was not laughing. <laughs> I was pissed off. Okay pissed off and upset but now i can go back weeks later and look and see like wow i made it through and just remember you're gonna always make it through it does not feel like you're gonna make it through but you do okay 
since you're still here, we are going to do one last bonus one. Take a financial personality assessment. Take one. I'm sure there's plenty here on, um, on Google. Take a financial personality assessment. That way you know what kind of personality you have. You know, that way that can help you with your triggers. The more you know, the better you can combat some of these things. Because how many times that stuff we had to have, and then we go back and look years later and like, Psh. you low key have thought about it. Cause I've thought about it. I would rather have the money than a lot of that stuff. Okay. So just be mindful of that. Drop me some comments. Give me some thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We drop content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.